I did actually sit down and rethink about it and you know meditate on it. We've been been able to do n years of you know industrials for different companies. Uh, we've been actually very thankful to do a lot of the TV shows and as you do special guests or competitors and done very well with those things um, and establish who we are. But I think at the heart of it, uh, what's come across about people's idea of the group loops that I, I also want to see what they think, you know what I mean? As opposed to what do I think it is. Um, and what I've really enjoyed of uh, feedback is that we have put it out sort of really, uh, sort of honestly, uh, our stories through the dance. Um, one of the flagships of our whole group is this stage show we created together uh, that I worked on and created with uh, the director, Danny Sistone, and then collaborated with the group together. And I remember when we first performed at the Carnival in 2003, you know, there were people that were crying when they approached us and said, you know, you maybe remember why I danced. Um, because, and we didn't know, we, we, we didn't know, we were just doing what we do. But people seem to hold on and remember uh, that amidst the fun, they sense this, they sense a real chemistry because this is not a group that was auditioned for. We came together. We still are together. People that don't even perform with us that much, and I even will call them and say, look, you know, I know you're kind of busy with your other career that's blown up. You know, let me take you off the active roster and just make you an alumni. They're like, no, I'm a group this is This is part of me. So that means a lot to them, means a lot to me. I'm proud of that. Um, and there's a sense of uh, uh, truth, uh, uh, joy, uh, and uh, this uh, revealing of who we are and so in terms of why do I keep doing this why do I keep doing this is um, I, I still feel like it's not been done fully the visions I have from when I first came here are not fulfilled even though shows we've done I'm like ah we're, we still can make this clearer stronger I did get I did hit a I hit a road a while back that was challenging um, it was 2008 uh, if I'm correct in the year, but roughly around then when I was kind of like, what am I doing? Meaning, we've had this influence, you know, with directors and shows, we've been able to go on these shows. Uh, thankful for that. I don't really know if these, are, these competition shows are right for us. You know, we're doing industrials, that's great, but what are the groove loops? What are we? And, um, and I was kind of second guessing, did I make a mistake by not taking offers to go on these other shows? Um, and, I sat there thinking about it, thinking I'd maybe, you know, not done what I should have done. And then in 2008, two things happened at the same time at the end of that, that year. A uh, produce, production company, out of, producers out of New York came, saw our, our, our stage show at the Orange County Performing Arts Center, and said, we want this show, we want to take this to New York. Um, we, and we were like, wow, we want to take it to New York and play off Broadway. We're like, oh my gosh. And that same time, Nigel Lithgow, with his partner, uh, his creative partner, Simon Fuller, uh, put to, were putting together this show called Superstars of Dance. And the way they were doing it was, they were choosing uh, countries to compete against each other. And they wanted to choose us to represent the USA. So in a sense, we kind of had already won, meaning that we were going onto the show as America's group. It was just this amazing blessing, like, oh my gosh. So we're sort of being said we are America's group. You know, I, of course it's TV, I'm not saying it is the end all beat all, but it was quite a great moment for me. It's sort of a confirmation that, you know, I wasn't wrong in, in holding off in a sense and saying no, because on that show, we got to do three, four minute performances on TV. I mean, that is huge. You don't, you get 20 seconds, 40 seconds. They gave us three minute routines, four minute routines on TV um, with very little editing. Um, and so, I mean, they chopped a few things, but they basically gave us that much time. We won the whole thing, which was just incredible. Uh, that was a whole other experience, you know. Uh, we brought the trophy, quote, the, the, you know, the grand championship home for the country. And it kind of, you know, again, said, hey, you know, we are relevant, we are doing things, we got to say who we are, and we got to tell stories. 
Uh, it was very emotional for me and for all of us, and that was great. And then we went to New York. We played off Broadway uh, between two theaters for seven weeks. Uh, we toured 2010, you know, to 24 cities. Um, so that ended. And you know, you sort of, back of your mind sometimes, you're like, this is it now. Okay, now, is it, now it's going to all connect. We're going to, you know, be able to you know, establish some of the other dreams we have for nonprofit parts of Groove Lose and doing the other things we want to do and more stories in Groove Lose 2 and a TV thing or whatever. Because I'm always looking for places, opportunities to, to bring in more people and give them a chance to show what they do because they still electrify me. So what it came down to was I'm still in love with this dance. I'm blown away when I watch people get into their vibe, doing their solos, ciphering, and just go, my gosh, the world still hasn't seen it the, like the way I see it. How uh, the spirit behind this dance is so powerful. That's why it's so infectious, because there's a sense that you can do it too. You can be a part of it too. That same spirit that's behind it can move you as well. Um, and so that is not finished yet. I, my brain now is on fire with what I want to do with Groovely. The show we have existing, the new things that I'm like, we're not done. And so what Groovaloo is for me now is two part. One is wanting to motivated to do these things, to, to, uh, to, to bring in all of my knowledge and continue to work with great people that are the Groovaloos now, the new generation of Groovaloos, uh, tell their stories, uh, bring, those, bring those people in, inspire people. Uh, and then um, I also am looking at things like this, which I'm just so thankful Strike TV came in. Um, I have this desire now to sense share the sort of rich history that we have. I sort of want to honor it and put it out there. So just as a history, it's sort of known, hopefully not in a way that I'm not, I'm not trying to claim ownership on things or brag on things, just so it's there.